Dennis Prager, the man himself, the world's most anti-Semitic Jewish man next to Ben Shapiro. So, yeah, he went on to debate Anna Kasparian and got fucking we ached. obliterated. So let's let's see the results of that. We ache to have them on our shows. We ache to debate them, but they won't debate us and they won't come on our shows and they won't us have us on their show. Hey, listen, conservatives, Ben Shapiro, Steven Crowder, maybe not Charlie Kirk just because you fell off, but I will go on your shows. We can talk. Let's have a conversation. You want your open dialogue? I got it right here for you, buddy. I'll do it. I'll take an edible and I'll still fucking destroy you. I have offered tens of thousands of dollars to any left-wing columnist on the New York Times to debate me anywhere they want. They could choose the moderator. They could choose the audience. I've said it before and I will say it again. Dennis Prager looks like the Count from Berserk. He looks like this guy. This is what Dennis Prager looks like, inside and out. It's an uncanny resemblance. Joining us now is Dennis Prager, the man you just saw in that video. And Dennis, uh, I guess you could call TYT a cinnamon because uh, we don't want you to ache. We want to make sure we give you an opportunity to feel good uh, by debating well, someone on I, the left. Funny, I, I was thinking if- Dude, fascist audio, yet again. Where is your microphone, Dennis? You are paid millions of dollars from fossil fuel companies. You can buy a blue Yeti, Dennis. Only you were a New York Times columnist, how much money you'd be making. Man. Columnist, learn how to speak. You had tweeted that video that we started this conversation with, and there were a lot of responses from prominent individuals. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Great Big Munch said he just filled one of his USB ports with peanut butter. <laughs> that, that, that's his fucking microphone. On the left, I want to give you a few examples, uh, starting with Vosh, who's a big Twitch streamer. He's got a big YouTube channel as well. He says, you couldn't be more wrong. I love spirited debate in the free marketplace of ideas. He even provided his email and would love to have that conversation with you. My good friend Ben Burgess also responded. He's a great guy. He says, hi, Dennis. Uh, I'd be delighted to chat with you either on my show or you could host it through PragerU. It's interesting that like every time conservatives say the left doesn't like talking. The left doesn't want to have conversations. A bunch of leftists say, yo. Let's have a conversation, only to be ignored. So, emailing Vosh Big Chungus. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about Vosh. Not my favorite guy. Yeah, I do kind of think he's a little opportunistic, but that's okay. It's all right. And on multiple occasions, I noticed that Sam Cedar would also love to debate you. So he responded in that tweet as well, saying, available and adding, uh, Tim Pool knows what lengths he would go to to not even be on the same stage as me, right, Tim? Uh, so there's some drama with uh, Tim Pool, but just want Dude, the right is so scared of Sam Cedar. It's kind of crazy. Wanted to let you know, you are you don't have to ache anymore. There are lots of people on the left who want to debate you. Dude, look at his face. What is he going to say? He wants to talk to New York Times columnists that don't know how to debate. Like, he doesn't want to talk to Sam Cedar because <laughs> he'll get destroyed. Oh, I have no doubt that there are a lot of people on the left. That, uh, uh, the the issue that I raised was people at the New York Times and people like you for the for sorry hang on that there are a lot of people I literally I literally left. I literally called it he doesn't want to talk to Sam Cedar he doesn't want to talk to people who know how to debate he wants to talk to fucking New York Times columnists that write opinion pieces oh I have no doubt that there are a lot of people on the left that, Dude, look at that stutter! And also, he's like, I don't doubt that there's anyone on the left. In the fucking beginning, he was like, the left doesn't, no one on the left ever wants to talk. We ache to have them on our shows. We ache. We throb. Dennis Prager is throbbing for a leftist, please. Oh, I have no doubt that there are a lot of people on the left. Uh, the... <laughs> The little goblin that turns the fucking wheel in his brain just stopped. Did you hear about the Pelosi attack? So I'm supposed to believe that a lone individual was able to get past the Secret Service. Okay, okay. 
who who the fuck is this hang on hang on hang on hang on hang on we gotta have a moment with this individual did you hear about the pelosi attack so i'm supposed to believe that a lone individual was able to get past the secret service over her wall through her fence past motion detectors cameras and alarm systems past armed private security guards and attack an 80 year old man with a hammer only to be fought off by said octogenarian and neither the attacker or the victim were killed sure that happened did you just come in here and say this for the first time okay let's have a conversation my friend let me highlight all the things you got wrong <laughs> please read in ben shapiro voice so i'm supposed to believe that a lone individual is able to get past the secret service the secret service do not protect anyone other than the president and the president's family the capitol police only protect capitol members they don't protect their families that is going to change after this attack but paul pelosi did not have any Capitol Police with him because Nancy Pelosi was in DC, not San Francisco. Over her wall, I don't even know if she has a wall. You don't even know what the Secret Service does, so I don't trust that you know that Nancy Pelosi has a wall, but regardless, walls aren't hard to climb, especially when you're a psycho. Through the fence, if you could climb a wall, you could probably climb a fence. Past motion detectors, camera, and an alarm system, he broke a window, so I don't think he was really worried about that. Also, it was 2 in the morning. Did you really want Paul Pelosi to be looking at his cameras at 2 in the morning? Armed private security guards, that's just completely made up, and attack an 80-year-old man with a hammer, only to be fought off, Paul hid in the bathroom, until the police arrived and then he ran out and managed to struggle with this guy. And yeah, they did struggle for the hammer. You know, adrenaline is kind of a thing that happens even in old people. You ever hear stories about moms lifting cars to get their babies? It's like a thing, you know, you could be really strong when your life is at risk. Neither the attacker or the victim were killed. Paul was hit with a hammer and knocked unconscious while the cops watched because the attacker was white. I don't know what you want. You're wrong about everything that you said here. Your first ever comment in my chat was incorrect. You are vehemently misinformed. I would seriously encourage you to re, uh, re-examine your sources, to find better sources that know what they're talking about, and to stop raising your eyebrow at mundane bullshit that distracts from actual issues. This Paul Pelosi attack is a serious thing, but it doesn't matter, ultimately. Anyway, anything else? Did you just say that and leave, you fucking weirdo? This is why I don't have any shitters in my chat. Like, I really want more people like this in here, but I never get them because I, fuck, I can't help myself. I just fucking turn them into ash. I'm sorry. Anyway, my food just got here. I'll be right back. The attacker was from Canada and was in the... Gr hang on, hang on. Here he is, 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 here he is. The attacker is from Canada and he was in the Green Party at one point. He was in the Green Party like 25 years ago. You know what he was actually involved in in the last couple of years? QAnon. Why are you ignoring that? The same sources that say he was in the Green Party also say that he was in QAnon much more recently. And regardless, from Canada, that doesn't matter. I don't even think that's true. But regardless, he lived in the United States currently. And Canada has just as much brain disease as the United States does too, you idiot. You dummy. I'm gonna go get my Popeyes and you're not even gonna have any. And people like you, for, the, for example, you pleasantly surprised me by doing this, to be perfectly honest. And by the way, I think proof of my theory God, look is at a his, piece of what is wrong with his face yeah if all canadians are left i'm moving to canada liv agar said this a while back but canada is in my opinion as well overdue for right-wing populists they're gonna get their trump sooner or later and by the way i think proof of my theory is a piece that i read on some uh, left-wing or progressive site just today about how angry many of your viewers are that you're having me on Whereas I will tell you, I would get no such feedback from the right if I had a left per, a left wing person on my- I mean, that's not true. If you debated Hassan Piker, there'd still be fucking weirdos bitching about it. But regardless, if you're a leftist and you complain about this, you're stupid. I don't know what to tell you. Having Dennis Prager on to obliterate him on TYT is a great fucking idea. You have to put trust in the person that's doing it. And there's like, you know, if- it was like some random small Twitch streamer leftist having fucking Charlie Kirk on. I'd probably say, no, that's not a good idea because I don't trust you to do this right. I don't trust you to guide your audience in the correct way where no one's going to think that Charlie Kirk is making a good point. But this is Anna Kasparian. She's been doing this forever and she knows what she's doing and she's smart and she's great.
Same with any mainstream leftist political commentator. It's only when it's like small scale do I get worried. And it's not because like I'm mad you're platforming someone. I just want leftists to be represented in the best way possible. If I'm trans, is Canada the US better? Canada, but not by much. Less guns, slightly less psychos, still a lot of psychos, free healthcare. On my show, they would be thrilled. So uh, I, I still stand by my belief that in general, uh, the people certainly in the higher echelons of the left don't want to debate. Excuse but me, excuse me, excuse me, sir, you can't say that. We were just looking at screenshots of upper echelons of the left, like Vosh, Sam Cedar. Like, what do you want? You are on TYT, the longest running leftist fucking broadcast on the internet. What do you want? And he's like, a bunch of internet kids on the left, a bunch of fans of TYT were mad that I'm coming on. So that means the upper echelons don't want to debate. What? <laughs> The left isn't a monolith. There's a lot of disagreement on the left. Uh, there's certainly a lot of disagreement on things that I say on this show on various issues, even when it comes to crime. Um, I'm sure you've noticed some of the backlash I've received in that regard as well. However, I will say- Leftists and fighting is fucking stupid. And leftists need to get over fighting over little stupid shit and start uniting over the basics. Like being anti-capitalist, being anti-corporation, being pro-union, being pro-worker, being pro-immigration. Like we need to, we need to stop. That's why I don't ever fucking look at other leftist content on stream to like debunk it or whatever. People who do that are opportunistic freaks. There's no like, I'm more leftist than you. You don't get anywhere from that. You're hurting everyone. Obviously pointing out grifters is important, like fucking Jimmy Dore, but that's different. He's not a fucking leftist. I will say there is a reason why the right wing tends to be more open to having these kinds of discussions and debates and the left wing gets a little uneasy about it. And it's because there has been this prevalence of prominent figures who identify as the left, right, or on the left, who then later start to, you know, cozy up to right wing figures and then it turns out that they completely move to the right wing because they're essentially paid to do it. They're used as tools by the right wing to essentially spew right wing talking points while purporting to still be on the left. In fact, Dave Rubin's a great example of that. Dave Rubin used- Dave Rubin's an excellent example. Jimmy Dore's another good example. There are a lot of examples like that. That's why it's important to make sure that we're actually putting good leftists up against right wingers like this. He identified as someone on the left. Oh, he- they, they've they, yeah, go ahead. Forgive me. I literally thought my computer was dying because when he started speaking, I thought my speakers started fucking breaking. The left doesn't want to debate. Also, let me use my IBM ThinkPad from 2002 for the audio. Dave Rubin made a video for PragerU why I left the left. Oh, I know. I, I he, he does not, in fact, state to the world that he's still on the left. I, I don't know who you have in mind, so I, I can- Brother, he did for years, for like six years. It's interesting because if I recall correctly, you had a conversation with Dave Rubin and how incredibly important it was that he was engaging in these discussions with you, discussions with the right wing, and you s stated something very specific. I actually want to go to that video and I want to get your thoughts. Uh, maybe you can elaborate on what you meant in this video. Let's watch. I want you to continue to say you're, you're a liberal because you're, yeah. you're of great use uh, to, to good values. Well, don't worry, I'm not doing it for, my, for your use no, of me. I'm doing, I'm doing it for myself. No, no, you. no, no, yeah. it's like Christians who- no, I'm not doing it for your use, I'm doing it for myself, trust me. I make a lot of money doing it. America needs people who are clearly a, 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 a liberal and who, and to be honest, and fall into the category of kosher as gay yeah. to say, hey, hello, the conservatives are not hate mongers. Hello, they should be heard. And maybe every so often you should read National Review right. or watch a PragerU video. No. Under no circumstances should you watch a PragerU video for actual information. You should only watch it if you're making fun of it. So Mr. Prager, you can understand why members of the left would feel a little uneasy when these discussions take place because usually it's a sign that someone on the left got lured in with uh, some billionaire cash like Dave Rubin did. Oh, oh, okay, well. Someone turned on his fucking remote control vibrator watch. Like Dave Rubin did. Oh, oh okay, well. <laughs> Well, that's an unfair statement. I, I don't accuse people on the left of having their positions because of money. 
And I don't think you should do that with regard to conservatives. <laughs> That's hilarious. Also, you do that all the time. Dennis Prager and Prager, you constantly say, hmm, socialist and yet money. Socialist and yet house. Curious. Uh, Alan Dershowitz is, is, is not a right winger, but Alan Dershowitz. Has huh? Alan Dershowitz is not a right winger? That's a crazy thing to say. He's lost all his friends because he, he defended Donald Trump in court. He didn't even vote for Donald Trump. It Just doesn't matter. You know who he probably lost friends for defending? Jeffrey fucking Epstein. Just merely defending his, his right to have a defense was enough for him to lose his friends. Why'd you use the Trump example and not Epstein? That's interesting. The, the assumption on the left is that if you're a conservative, you're a despicable human being. And True. Th Space. this is a perfect example. The only reason Dave Rubin would have done it was, f was for money. I, I don't know anybody on my side. Because he continually advocates against his own best interest. There's only one possible motivation and it has to be money, you idiot. Of the spectrum who holds their positions because of money. Uh, there's a hell of a lot more money on the left anyway. Really? If you want to get really? money. Really? Oh, how, how is yeah, PragerU who, who, who funded? The Washington Post. How is PragerU funded? the Washington Post? <laughs> by, That's by, not a leftist by source, people bitch. on the internet and by wealthy donors. But uh, Prager, hmm. Prager, <laughs> Prager U does the- it, it, Name one of the wealthy donors. What do those wealthy donors do? I'm curious. But the information regarding Prager U, which by the way, okay. You're listed as an organization that's tax exempt, correct? And you're not supposed to be talking about political issues. But I didn't know that. Last time I checked, Prager U yeah. talks about a lot of political issues. Well, then you haven't checked in a long time. Uh, for example, we we never did a single video on Donald Trump. And that's <laughs> not exactly what. Dude, Sensitive Society made a video about me. And like in the video, he says that same thing. He's like, I'm not political. I don't watch the news. What are you, six years old? That's insane. Uh, we just did a, uh, uh, we put out a video a week. So we have 500 videos out about and- uh, And most of those videos are like, why Palestine should be evaporated and turned to dust for, uh, you know, Israeli parking lots. Many of our videos, probably at least half are purely educational. So <laughs> he's not political, he's educational. Oh, okay. Uh, it's a caricature of, of Prager U uh, for you to say that we are largely political. Prager it U describes not. itself as conservative. Like it's a yes, conservative take, conservative, which okay. by the nature of if, it being conservative is political. Yeah. But listen, it is what it is. <laughs> you literally was like, yeah. <laughs> Yes, you can be conservative, for example, socially and not specifically. Po politically generally means vote Republican. We don't tell people to vote anyway in any in any direction. But yes, we do believe that America is the finest country ever founded. If that makes us political, we're political. Then you can't be tax exempt. I don't care if you're political or not. You're saying you're not, so you can not pay taxes, you asshole. Pay your taxes. I want to start off without putting words in your mouth to show a video of something you said just yesterday on the uh, Dennis Prager show that I thought was fascinating. So let's take a look at that and we'll discuss. The computer sticker phenomenon is crazy. It was actually one of the biggest what, shocks What does I that had. mean? What does that mean? On your computer right here, people, instead of just having a, a blank oh, back. Oh, I see. They would so messages. On, yes. It would either and be. And what was the common message? I heart women or um, oh. just the, the female sign, you know, the circle. Oh, how dare they? On Wait, the I heart women on a woman's computer? Yes. All of them. <laughs> brain wait but boys and girls can only have babies and get married wait <laughs> all of this is proof to me that women need men these women are manless dennis prager has been divorced like three times <laughs> Ending with my generation i would say in ending with the the baby boomers but on certainly through then a young woman thought a lot about do i have a boyfriend mm -hmm. what will my wedding be like what will i wear women never think about that women don't think about that anymore it's crazy that is that i believe is healthy and normal for a young woman mm -hmm. it's a good thing 
that has been knocked out by by the the feminist left and if you think about it you're 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 a weak female that's just like he's just an old man who's like ma'am kids these days are only they're not getting married anymore they're just having gay sex and feminism if you had if, a heterosexual man with 97% of men are heterosexual with a sticker i love men you you would you would wonder why why don't men have stickers i love men conservatives do this all the time one of the most like basic conservative arguments is just like if if a man did this the thing that a woman's doing then that would be crazy or if a woman did this thing a man was doing that would be crazy shut up men and women are different they got different shit going on. The reason why there is a difference between those. men and women in regard to those laptop stickers is because, I mean, when you really think about it, women didn't have the right to vote for a very long time. Women didn't even have- But now they do. So I don't really understand. I mean, I think socially men and women are the same. Like the differences in gender rather than in status and deserve rights like alpha males think. No, socially they're not the same because socially they're not treated the same. The wage gap, differences in employment, opportunities, college graduation, there's differences societally and socially between men and women. I think men and women are more similar biologically and anatomically and mentally and physically than people think, but socially is where they're the most different. But first of all, I don't agree that women have laptop stickers that just simply say, I love women. It's probably- Yeah, what the fuck? We're like so deep into this. We're so lost in the sauce. Like good on Anna for remembering the fucking insane premise that we're even talking about right now. Just a sticker that says, I heart women. <laughs> what? Rather than making generalizations about what's best for women, maybe- Allow women, allow people to live their lives as they see fit. Have a belief system right. as they so, see fit. Okay. Why do you feel the so need I to have... force your beliefs onto other people? Well, Go ahead. Well, first of all, okay, I don't understand the word force. His uh, multiple essays about marital rape, they would beg to differ. I believe that I have the right, as you do, to offer people thoughts on what might be a better and happier life for them. I've written a book on happiness. Which, which, uh, had and he's clearly, if you look at him and his Ronald Reagan bust back there, very happy. Most women will have a better and happier life with a good man, and most men will have a happier and better life with a good woman. I don't know why that is controversial to state. All I know is that having adopted the view that career is more important than marriage has led to more depressed women than anything that preceded it. Have you ever thought about how, like, maybe it's because, like, wages have been stagnant for, like, 30 years because rent just keeps climbing? Billionaires and corporations are just taking control of basically everything? Maybe that would contribute to depression. I don't know. Have you considered some of the economic issues within this country that don't really give women a choice as to whether or not they should yes, focus on a that, career? that's a very real issue. I fully acknowledge that. That if you don't have a career to fall back on and there's a divorce, uh, that what do you mean? Like I said, rent is skyrocketing and not showing any signs of slowing. I live in fucking California. Housing is fucking expensive. Try to buy a house on a single income while trying to start a family. That's just not realistic because of policies that Dennis supports. You're entirely right. Economically speaking, there is value in having a fallback career. I fully acknowledge that. But it goes, I'm going further than that because the idea that a family can live in a single income household today. Oh my today. god, I love Anna. I love Anna. I'm in love with Anna Kasparian. She's fucking killing it. Okay, both individuals in a marriage have to work in order to be able to pay their rent, pay their mortgage, put food on the table for their children, educate their children. Wages have remained stagnant since the 1970s. Oh my God, uh, she's so fucking cool. Like she's saying everything I said. <laughs> Women don't have a choice as to whether or not they can work or whether or not they should just focus on raising children. They don't have the choice. That's the point I'm trying to make. Right, and we differ on that because we differ on reality. Oh, that's a good way to put it, Dennis. The reason that many women, not all, but perhaps most even, are are working is not just economic, especially in the, certainly in the upper class, upper middle class, and even part of the middle class. It is because they believe 
that their self-worth derives more from work than it does from family. Yeah, it's a cultural problem. It's not because women have to work or they will die like everyone else in this fucking capitalist hell world. No, it's because they uh, are brainwashed by feminism. Yeah, there's plenty of studies to show that. If a girl got up at a in a high school or college class, let's say it, a professor or a teacher said, so uh, women, I mean, to the extent that they can now say that, because you can't say boys and girls in many elementary schools, because we're told by your side that sex is not binary. Conservatives love when they're, especially when they're backed into a corner. He's just like, uh, uh, transphobia. Like, <laughs> it's like his fucking trap card. It's all he has left. Watch also, he was saying elementary school. Elementary school women, Dennis? Elementary school women? If a girl got up in a college class and said, you know, to be honest, my greatest hope in life is for a good marriage and to make a family. She would be regarded as almost a freak. Would she? No, no one would think that. Also, if she really wanted that, why is she going to college? You, what is that based on? Yes, what evidence would. do you have to back that up? I, I live in the real world. So do uh, I. There is, okay. <laughs> what is your evidence? I live in the real world. I go to college campuses all the time and ask. Ask women if they want to start a family with me, and they all say no. It must be feminism's fault. <laughs> he literally did the... My sources that I made it the fuck up. He, he literally did it. Congratulations, Dennis. You uh, seem to apply that they're that being they victimized be by wanting to be homemakers, and I just don't buy it. Okay, fine. So good. This is a classic example of what I say on my radio show. I prefer clarity to agreement. You think that a girl who got up in a college class and said, my, my, my most fervent dream is to have a happy marriage and a family will be regarded with the same respect as a girl who said, I would like to be a physician or a physicist. We differ. Perfect. Okay. All right. I, and again, if you have data back. The problem is that you don't have any evidence for what you're saying. You're just making shit up. Like, we differ. Well, okay, but you're wrong. <laughs> you're lying. <laughs> We're each giving the perception of reality that we have. But no. one, of, one of them is real and the other is Dennis Prager's stupid brain. So let's move on to uh, right-wing violence. Following the Buffalo supermarket shooting, which of course was inspired by a belief in a conspiracy theory that whites are being replaced with minorities in this country purposely to keep Democrats in power. Uh, you felt the need to kind of downplay right-wing extremism in this country. And you said, quote, this man represents such an infinitesimally small segment of the white population. Now, while that's statement might be literally true. I don't think that the white population in America mostly consists of domestic terrorists. So I, I agree with you on that. It seems like you kind of want to brush aside the very real problem we're having in this country with political violence, politically motivated violence. And I want to give you a few other examples. For instance, the Southern Poverty Law Center did a poll and found that seven out of 10 Republican voters believe in that white replacement conspiracy theory. Are you concerned about that at all? Right now we have had, I believe, two million illegal immigrants and the Democratic President of the United States. Oh my God, he's doing great replacement. Oh my God, he's doing great replacement. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Two million immigrants, huh? That's not even the population of LA. What the fuck is that gonna do to an election? Are they all going to Kansas? I don't think so, asshole. The Democratic president of the United States has opened our border. That's not it, even it true. Was... He still has the fucking camps. They're still using Title 42 to detain fucking undocumented people illegally. They're still doing fucking war crime concentration camps. There was attempt to close the border to illegal immigration. So when, when, you... when, 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 when was there an attempt? Donald Trump, really? He didn't attempt to close it. He built a wall and then he did fucking Title 42, which Joe Biden is still doing. But that's not closing the border. What do you want to do? Shoot them with a gun? What's wrong with you? Why do you think people on the left want millions of people to come in legally or illegally? 
it's not about that. It's just about not fucking brutalizing people for running from fucking socioeconomic conditions that we started with the CIA and Central and South America. Well, let's first discuss uh, the inaccuracies in your statement. Number one, there is, there are legal means to immigrate into the United States. So yeah, most of the people being detained by Title 42, by the way, are legal asylum seekers. For instance, the asylum seekers who are being used as political pawns by people like okay. uh, Texas Governor right. Greg Abbott, I'm not done, or Florida's Governor Ron DeSantis, they came into this country seeking asylum, meaning they are here legally and they are awaiting a federal judge, a, an immigration judge, okay. to make a decision so about their asylum status. Okay, so, so the idea be, that the border that the millions, is open and wait, people are just millions, pouring in illegally is inaccurate. Yes, no, it is accurate. No, it's okay, inaccurate. Good. So this is a perfect example of where we differ. And he's so red. He's so mad. And there's no reconciling. Either you're right or I'm right. Either millions are coming in. She is right. She is right. She is right. That's the, <laughs> what do you mean? But whom you are calling legal because they're all seeking asylum. Do I hear you correctly? We have this a system a in place for asylum illegal. seekers. So it's, are so you really, are you so saying that we should do away with that system? And if you are saying that, then it would require members of Congress to pass legislation that reforms our immigration system. But I mean, I think you'll agree with the statement, members of Congress have no interest in passing any legislation or engaging in any immigration reform. We have companies and businesses that are exploiting undocumented immigrants for cheap labor and they have no I, recourse. I if you shut down the border in the way that Dennis Prager wants and you deport all the undocumented immigrants that already live here, America's food supply dies overnight. No one to fucking pick the vegetables, no one to sort the chickens at the chicken factory. Those are undocumented immigrants. Those are the jobs that they have to do and they suck and they're horrible. And when they ask for more money or when they're sexually assaulted or when they need better working conditions and they say anything about it, the fucking owners call ICE, have them deported and a new fucking wave shows up. That's the fucking reality. But what they love they say? love the theater. For, Members of Congress right. love the, the theater. For the record, I, I spit on corporations. They they are they are woke and <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, he's in a fucking corner. He's like, I spit on corporations. They are woke. <laughs> I can't stand them. The fact that Disney will not even allow people uh, at the at, at their amusement parks to say boys and girls anymore. Notice how we were talking about immigration and now we're talking about pronouns again. That's interesting, isn't it? Gives you an idea of how sick they have become in the wokeness of this non-binary evil. And that Dude, look at his fucking, look how angry, dude. Look how angry he is. His eyebrows are fucking raised, although you can barely see them. His teeth are out, his eyes are, he looks like a fucking dinosaur. And that I do believe is evil. To tell little children, you, are, you, you don't know if you're a boy or a girl until you decide. Do you think that's healthy? I think it's unhealthy think it's to healthy spend the amount of time you girl. spend in judging decisions that parents make about their own children. I think it's none of your business. I don't think you just got to move on. Like you got to be like, we were talking about immigration. Why are we talking about fucking non-binary evil? And schools parents are not doing not anything close to what the right wing is describing. Okay. I mean, it is amazing okay. because you talk about Alan Dershowitz, who had written a column in the New York Times about how it should be okay to have sex with underage girls, okay? Uh, you don't call him a groomer, but you'll call our educators who have done nothing wrong, just want to create an environment that's welcoming to all students. You'll call them groomers, you'll defame them as some I, sort I of sexual them, predators. I don't call them groomers, I don't call them groomers, I just pay people to do it for me, I never said that. Like Anna's getting a little too heated about it. She's like getting invested in like, cause we were talking about immigration and then he brought up fucking Disney and woke corporations. And she understandably wanted to respond to that. But you really like, when you debate a conservative, you gotta be like, nope, like back on it, like a dog. He goes off the path, you go, nope, back to what we were talking about. <sighs> well, that was the debate. I think, you know, Anna did a really good job for the most part. When he brought up the trans kids shit, I wish she would have pushed harder on the immigration stuff. She would have pointed out that conservatives have just made up the grooming narrative. 
She lost the debate be mostly because she acted like the spoiled little brat she is. Hey, if there's anyone in chat that happens to think this way, I need you to think a little carefully about if this was a man debating Dennis Prager, if you would have that same opinion. The comment section's giving me hope for America. Anna's insufferable. Anna, you are likely to be lonely. Anna is dumb, dumder than a bag of hammers. Dude, you said dumder and brutally dishonest. She claimed that the stories of schools bringing drag queens to dance to children is made up. It is made up. If she is that disconnected from current events, perhaps she is not fit to have the job she has, which explains why she sucks at it. Total win count, zero, two, one. Anna wins overall. Topic one, win count, zero, one. Prager, you challenge. And if you think like this, if you write like this, you got something wrong with you. I don't know what to tell you. You need to go outside. This female is a, in parentheses, total joke. She rambles and talks over Prager. <laughs> and when, she, when he starts to make a <laughs> valid point, the wacky female jumps on him and talks over him again. <laughs> Dennis missed a few up. Opportunities to really expose Anna's arguments. At the same time, Anna did a good job of exposing the left's wacky and dangerous positions. Why are they all saying wacky? <laughs> she thinks she is smart. It's so annoying. Like, that's all these people can say over and over again. It's the same thing that happened when Sensitive Society made his video about me and all his little goblins went to my comment section and were just like, you're fat and you have blonde hair. Did you know that actually? It's like, yeah, I noticed. <laughs> like, I know. Because they don't have anything to actually say about the content. So they're just like, her voice is annoying. This female is uh, lame. <laughs> I like this comment. This guy sucks. <laughs> All right, that was fucking pathetic on Dennis's part. Those comments are so funny too. Fuck me, okay.